hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel all right so in this video i'm going to be showing us of the concept of uh, vector and scalar projections of uh, a vector onto another vector okay so the beginning with the first one here the scalar projection of say vector u onto vector v okay so what does this imply now you recall the concept of the resolution of vectors that um, we did in physics, for instance, you know that if there is a vector coming from this origin O, let's say we call this vector vector U, and so we talked about the resolution of a vector to the Y and to the X axis. Okay, so you recall that, let's take it that this is angle theta. So we usually say that the resolution or what you can say the x component of u, or you can also say the horizontal component of u, is actually the magnitude of u multiplied by cos of theta. And you know that is gotten by the use of uh, the Pythagoras, uh, sorry, uh, the trigonometric ratios. Of course, uh, this is angle 90, and you know the, the vector here is the hypotenuse that's the u here and then this is the adjacent so of course if you make use of cos theta that will give you your adjacent which is x all over the hypotenuse which is now the magnitude of u of course we are looking at the hypotenuse as the magnitude of this vector that's the length of this vector of course that will represent the magnitude okay so and that will of course produce what we have here, the magnitude of u cos uh, theta, okay? So now from this concept of resolution of vectors to the uh, x-axis, which is actually a vector on the horizontal axis, and then the y on the vertical. Of course, if you do that, you will get magnitude of u sine theta, okay? So now if you import this into the concept that we are looking at now, you will discover that uh, now in this case we are looking at you are given any arbitrary vector and remember that every vector is uh, given as a, a quantity with the magnitude and direction where the line here yeah, the line segment represents the size as the magnitude and the direction of course yeah, is represented by the arrow so in this case we are now saying let us not refer to any other given vector, um, any other uh, the horizontal axis, sorry, the x axis. Let it just be with respect to any vector. Of course, remember, like I said, the x axis represents your vector in that x axis direction. So, but in this case, we want to refer to any vector at all, let's say vector v. Of course, a vector will have. A magnitude represented by the size, sorry, represented by the length here, yeah, which we can call a uh, magnitude of V, and of course the direction represented by the arrow. Okay, so if there is the same thing and the theta between these two vectors, then we can determine the V component, that is the component of U that is in this direction of vector V. Okay, so that component is what we call the scalar projection of u onto v okay so and if you make use of this same pro, uh, principle that we have or in uh, resolution of vectors you will as well get that um, of course the magnitude of this will be this okay so you will also get that this particular component maybe we can call it x that means the vector the, the scalar component of u onto v let's call it x so that x will also be equal to the magnitude of u cos uh, the uh, cos your theta and of course we have other representations for this meanwhile by our representation this scalar projection is noted with this symbol component of 
u onto v okay so the component of u onto v that is the representation and of course it is given from this formula here we can now go further to get another representation for it you recall that in most cases we can just give you vector u as maybe let me say a vector of this for maybe i plus 2j maybe minus 2k and we can ask you to find say the scalar projection of u onto this v so in this case you can see the theta is not given so how do you do that in a case where the theta is not given we can actually uh, move this formula further into another form where we can actually find this uh, scalar projection of u onto v even though we don't have angle theta and how do you do that you recall that our cos theta is actually equal to okay so and where did i get this from you recall that the dot product of u and v is actually equal to magnitude of u multiplied by magnitude of v cos uh, theta of course this is one of the formulas for the dot product of u and v so it's from here that we got this okay so by the time you make a substitution of this into this uh, formula here then you will get that um, of course that your component of u onto v which is the scalar projection is equal to the magnitude of u and now your cos theta is now equal to your magnet sorry the dot product of u and v all over magnitude of u multiplied by magnitude of v and okay so from here of course this will take away this and so the last formula we have for this particular quantity is the dot product of u and v all over the magnitude of v sorry so if you are asked to find the scalar projection of any vector onto another vector just take the dot product of the two and divide by the magnitude of the one that the projection is taking onto all right we are of course we're going to take examples but before then let's also see for the vector projection this is the vector projection onto the vector v the vector projection of u onto vector v meaning the vector component of u that is projected to v okay so i have gotten the scalar component as my component of u onto v and so to get the vector component which is written as the the P-R-O-G, that's the projection of U onto V, okay? So this is simply the vector of this particular scalar quantity. And how do you get the vector of that quantity? Just multiply it by the unit vector in that direction. And remember that this projection here was taken in the direction of V. And so if I want to get the vector of that particular scalar quantity, I will just get the unit vector of V and multiply it by this particular quantity, and that will give me this. And so recall that your composition of, or sorry, the component of U onto V is given above as U dot V all over the magnitude of V. And so if I now multiply it by the unit vector of v that will give me v all over the magnitude of v you recall that we've done unit vectors and we saw that the unit vector of any vector is that vector all over the magnitude of the vector and so by the time you simplify this you will see that this is simply going to give us u dot v all over the square of this magnitude and then everything multiplied by our v let me write it this way multiplied by v okay and so and that is a formula for the vector projection of u onto v and so you can actually see that of course if you multiply the magnitude of a vector say the magnitude of a vector by its unit vector that's u uh all over u magnitude so of course you definitely get that vector so the vector along the 
uh, scalar projection, which we actually define, and that was part of the notes I'm going to give us here. Let me just quickly do that. Okay, so the first note is that one, the scalar uh, projection of a vector. Okay, so that means if I have uh, the scalar projection, just multiply by the unit vector, you would definitely, the unit vector of V, you will definitely get the, pro uh, the vector projection. Okay, so quickly, we are going to see an example. So it says that, uh, okay, so if we are to find the scalar and the vector projection of uh, this first vector, let's take this to be our U and this to be our V. Okay, so let's begin with the scalar projection, which we said is also written as a composition of U onto V, and that it is equal to the dot product of U and V all over the magnitude of U. Now, the dot product of U and V is going to be 3 times 1. The component of I here is 1, and that is 3 plus, of course, minus 2 times 2, which is uh, minus 4, and then plus 1 times minus 1, which is minus 1, right? So this is all over the magnitude of V, which will be the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared plus minus one squared okay so and this is going to give us of course the numerator is going to be equal to negative two all over the denominator will be the square root of uh, this is one plus uh, five so we have the square root of six so it means that our scalar projection of u onto v is negative two root 6. Of course, you can see that it is a scalar quantity. All right. And then the the vector projection, which is a projection of uh, u onto v, is simply equal to, in this case now, it will be u dot v all over the square of the magnitude of u, uh, sorry, v multiplied by v. Okay. So what are we going to do here? Of course, we already have the dot product of u and v as minus 2. Now we have the magnitude of v as square root of 6. And now we are taking the square of that. And so we now multiply everything by the v vector v, which is uh, i plus 2j minus k. Okay, so and this is going to give us minus 2 all over the square of this is just going to give us 6 into i. And then finally, you can actually quickly say that this is 1 minus 1 over 3 into the bracket of it. As our vector projection of u onto v. And now one of the things you can do to ensure what we have said up here about the scalar projection being the magnitude of the vector projection. Of course, you know, you omitted vector projection here. Okay, so just take the magnitude of this vector. You, are, you will see that you will get uh, this particular value. The only thing is that the value you will get will probably be positive if you try getting the magnitude of this. Okay, and so that is all I have to show us about the scalar and vector projection of a vector onto another vector. So you make use of your formula, which says that the scalar projection is just the dot product of the two vectors all over the magnitude of the second vector where you're taking the projection to. Why the vector projection is a dot product of the two vectors all over the square of the magnitude of the vector where you are projecting to multiply by that same vector. All right, this is where we end it in this video. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.